little demonstration on the stock model in Mastercam. We've had some customers call in about the quality of Verify, so when I grab a couple of parts and actually run it through our Verify, they are not happy with the quality of the Verify. And this may lean itself to big or small parts or something like that. We'll just leave the precision go and crank through the stuff. They say it's got some issues and stuff with how good the quality is. Inside Verify it automatically calculates the resolution or the scale of the STL model as it gets created. So it's doing that based upon the size of the model, graphics hardware and stuff like that. If you need to see a better quality of the part when you're all said and done you can use your stock model. Here in the stock model parameters we can go and define the original stock. We could actually use a a stock model from another operation. We pick the operations we want to display and then we can actually compare that after the fact to see where the part is. So I can let this run by itself in the background if I need to. Let me drag this stock model over there. There we go. So if I would turn on the stock model, here's a stock model, there's my part, that's what I have. You could actually see the feature colors because I've purposely undercut some of this shape to show what it looks like to say okay this is you can see the model hanging out from the part this is undercut by fifteen thousandths the blue you see here is is a bunch of extra material and I'll show you this in the stock model we'll put it back to the screen if I go to the parameters and take a look at the stock model viewer stock model viewer so if I want to see all of the part I can show there's my part we'll turn the part off itself we'll see all of it it's just the stock itself. If I want to see, I'm seeing everything, I'll turn off less than and greater than. So the only thing I see is what I cut. So right in here, and I could, I could move this scale bar down to say, okay, here's my tolerance of three thousandths. All of this in here is within three of actually what I machined. Oops, went the wrong way. There we go. So now we're within three thousandths, plus or minus three. If I scale it out, that I get some stuff undercut. There's there's stuff that's roughly what is that? I could undercut this by fifteen thousand, so I'm right in that scale of where that is. And if I zoom in, I could see that this area here is within about ten. So I could look at those parameters and stuff like that to see what is it. And I only have minimum and maximum checked right here. So we'll just scale everything back up again. If I turn on the greater than, this is anything greater than 25,000 out there on the scale. We can turn off the min max. So I got a bunch of material left over here. I got all this undercut stuff that I didn't cut. So I can look at all that. Works the same thing with less than. Do I have anything less than my stock? And I haven't got anything undercut more than 25,000 or what the scale says right there so that's what's that's what that's showing right now so that is the stock viewer right here to be able to toggle on and off of what you want to see and what's out there of a fine detail of really what your model is whatever these parameters that you would like to set it gets set like another operation so if I would go into my files menu right here and say operational defaults, I want to look at stock model parameters. I've got this one default to 12, plus or minus 12. I've got the color set up the way I want to. And I am comparing it to the surfaces that I'm cutting. So it's, it's a better way or another way to be able to see what your part looks like and how good it is. It's just use the stock model to compare toggles on and off just like a toolpath. It's instantly in front of you. So this is for those of you that have been used and verified to see where you have material, where you've gouged the work, where you have extra stuff that you just double like to check. It's just another way to check stuff.